Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, earlier this year in May, Google announced that they will start deleting inactive Google accounts and the associated data for that account in December of this year, 2023. Now, I did post on that, and I'll leave a link to that video down below. But just to let you know that this um, change is now starting to become a reality and is getting closer to becoming a reality because Google now is starting to send out emails, which I received late yesterday in my region on the 24th of July, that they are updating their Google account inactivity policy. So basically, this is the start um, of the process where they are now starting to inform you about this Google account inactivity policy change. Now, I'm just giving you a heads up because you may have seen this email, you may have not. So, because obviously I have posted on this previously, just trying to keep you in the loop regarding this change if you are affected. Now, basically, just to go through a couple of the key changes that Google has mentioned in this email, if you are concerned that you would be affected. Basically, Google has said that they are trying to keep you and your private information safe and secure by preventing unauthorized access to your account. So, because of this, um, they are basically wanting to protect your private information and prevent any unauthorized access to your account, even if you are no longer using their service. So, that's the reason why they are saying that they will start deleting now inactive Google accounts to protect your private information and prevent any unauthorized access. And that will be starting this year in December of 2023. So if you are concerned that you will be affected um, by this new change, basically what does this mean for you? Now Google has given us four points and I'm just going to go through those quickly. Number one, they say that these changes do not impact you unless you have been inactive in your Google account for two years or have not used your account to sign into any Google service for over two years. That's point number one. Number two, the earliest that they say they would enforce any account deletion would be December 2023. So that's the 1st of December this year, 2023. So you've still got a couple of months to go if affected. Thirdly, Google says, if your account is considered inactive, they will send several reminder emails to both you and your recovery email if you have a recovery email uh, before they take any action or delete any account content. So basically, these reminder emails will go out at least eight months before any action is taken on your account. So um, if you are affected and have an inactive Google account, this isn't going to happen overnight. You're not going to just wake up and your account and your data is all gone. As mentioned, they will start sending these emails out at least eight months. So you will have a good couple of months where Google will give you a heads up. And then fourthly, they say after a Google account is deleted, the Gmail address for that de deleted account cannot be used again when creating a new Google account. And I think that is standard practice for Google anyway. Now, how do you keep your account active? And it's actually very simple. Um, and I'm just going to mention this um, just for the purpose of today's video. The simplest way to keep a Google account active is to sign in to the account at least once every two years. If you have signed into your Google account recently in the last two years, Google says your account is considered active and will not be deleted. So that's the simplest way if you don't want your account to be deleted. And then they also give other ways to keep your account active, which include... so. Just to go through a couple of those quickly. So other ways to keep your account active include reading or sending an email. Now these are quite obvious, but I'm just going to go through them. Using Google Drive, watching a YouTube video, sharing a photo, downloading an app, using Google Search, and you sign in with Google to sign into a third-party app or service. So basically, Google are really making it easy um, not to have an inactive account. So as mentioned, you've really had not had to have used your account for a, for a long period of time for this to actually take place, which I think will affect the minority then more than the majority. Now, something else to take note of, which I have posted on previously, and this is important because I know I can already see comments in the channel. There are some exceptions to this policy, which include a Google account with YouTube channels, videos, or comments, an account that has a gift card with a monetary balance, or an account that has a published application, for example, one that hosts an app on the Google Play Store. So if you have any of those accounts, as mentioned, your Google account will not be deleted. And I have mentioned this previously in regards to YouTube, 
where I posted t about two months ago that Google will not delete inactive YouTube accounts and videos in December of this year, 2023. And I will leave a link to that video down below. So if you do um, have YouTube videos and a YouTube account, as an example, you your account will not be deleted. So just take note of that. But nonetheless, just putting it out there that Google now has started that process and starting to send out uh, the first email where they are now informing us that they are updating their Google account inactivity policy. And just wanted to give you a heads up if you do find yourself affected. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.